Oh, that bon thing. As you can tell from the thumbnail, this is uh, the VXR. We're gonna be stripping the engine out of and getting it all ready for forging and getting all the uh, block, um, wedge block uh, decked and um, bored out to 86.5 mil. Uh, so right, first protocol is start stripping off all the bits, uh, basically, we're going to start taking all the bits off, battery off, getting all the bits and bobs out of the way, strip all the front uh, grill off, bumper off, wheels off, get the dry shafts out, strip the intercooler off, drain all the oils, uh, water, etc. Um, so, yeah, right, so basically, um, a few things we're going to be doing over with it it's going to be a good month's worth of work because uh, we've got to wait for the bits to be done and that but yeah i hope you'll enjoy it um if you ain't subscribed start subscribing because this one's going to be quite an epic one um uh, like i say there's loads coming on more for the show we've got chris here again hey guys hey. yeah so yeah loads going to be happening so Just to show you basically where we're at at the moment, um, yeah, got quite a few things off. Uh, right, let me get a torch. But right, we've got all the wheels off, obviously, all the front end all stripped out. We've drained the gearbox oil, we've drained the engine oil, and we've drained the water now. So everything's all ready to start stripping off underneath. Um, got a few more bits on top. Uh, I'm spinning the camera around, sorry. Right, uh, yeah, got uh, still some bits to do on top. Uh, little bits and bobs, brackets, engine mountings and a white lot. But yeah, still cracking on strong.
run into a few little issues at the moment, but uh, nothing major, nothing we can't sort out, easily uh, rectified. Um, I'll just quickly show you where we're at at the moment with here. Um, get a torch. Right, we've got the drive shaft off, out the way. The other drive shaft out the way now. Removed the oil filter. Um, all the rad, rads out the way now, basically. The only thing we've got to do is that mounting on here and this mounting here. Remove that. We've got to take this mounting out the way as well. Um, just quickly use a better torch. Right, yeah, got to remove that mounting out the way. Don't know if you'll be able to see it very clearly, but yeah, we've got all the bits out the way ready for removal. So yeah, all the gear cables out the way. So, right, basically. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, yeah, drop us some comments in the comment sections. Let us know what you think, whether you would have done it in your way. Um, this way has really worked out for me. I, like I keep saying before, every mechanic works different. Uh, each to their own, it's however they feel better at working. But I find this way quite easy because once we've got the engine out, uh, we, all we've got to do is just suspend the drive shafts, um, yeah, and put all the front back on, and then we can start mobility in the uh, vehicle about because we've got to get it back to uh, Chris's house as well. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. A um, few little other bits to do, but yeah, we're going to crack on. Just give you a little rundown basically. Right, the brake servo pipe, which goes to the servo, uh, snaps and repaired with a bit of brake pipe. Absolute, why would you do something like that? Absolutely uh, shoddy workmanship basically. I'm not surprised the uh, car's failed um, with the engine. Um, loads of other bits but another thing is obviously he's gone through all the work of putting a new turbo on uh, he's got all the cover hydro dipped spent all the money on pipes and whatnot put an old radiator back in and this if you can see this pipe here it's got K seal in it for the um, heat, uh, thermostat. Sorry. So yeah, you can see the state of the water uh, with all the rust and that. So God knows what the uh, rest of the uh, engine's going to be like. It's absolutely everywhere. But yeah, as for bits and bobs, loose pipes snaps you know what I mean this goes to the brake servo and it's snapped so uh, yeah if anyone out there has got one of these that goes to there if anybody's got one of these spare or laying around let us know in the comment section it's the mounting for this the bolt on the inside there that was loose 
um, loads of other little bits and bobs loose on parts of the uh, engine and that. Uh, the next video will be taking the gearbox off, separating all the uh, engine bits, so taking the head off, taking the sump off, stripping all the pistons out and uh, getting it ready for decking and wedging. Um, lovely Chris there. Yeah, hello Chris. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically that's it for today. Right, um, yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you uh, liked what you see. Uh, leave us a comment in the comment section. Like I say, um, if you would have done it a different way or have you ever done it that way before? I suspect loads of you have anyway. But yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, like I say, the next one will be stripping all the engine down. Uh, that's it really. Sorry guys, just a bit knackered as well. I've done a full 10 hour day plus another four hours on top. So yeah, 14 hours today I've done. So not too bad. Uh, yeah, that's it really. But right, yeah, Peel, that's it. Hope you all enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. See you soon. <laughs>